When we have a number raised to a rational exponent like this, 9 to the 3 over 4 power, how are we going to change this into a radical form and then simplify it? Well, in fact, this is an SAT practice question, and I do have a video on how we can guess the answer for this without really knowing how to deal with this. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out. Link will be in the description for your convenience. But right here, we'll do it legitimately. And of course, please pause the video and try it first. Done? Good. Well, I will tell you guys the note on the side right here first. When we have to simplify a rational exponent, let's say we have the basis b and then raised to the m over n's power, pay attention to the denominator here because that's going to change to the index of the radical. And we can first write it as the nth root, and we can put the b on the inside and then the m on the outside. This is the first way. Or the second way is you can put the b on the inside. So it looks like this, the nth root of b to the m's power. And they are equivalent, assuming b is a nice positive number and all that. And now you might be wondering, uh, which way is better? I'll tell you, usually this is better when we are dealing with numbers, because when you take the nth root of a uh, base, usually the number will become smaller and then we can deal with it better. All right, keep that in mind. But if you look at this right here, if you see 9 to the 3 over 4th power, and if we change the 4th root, right, the uh, over 4 to the 4th root, and then if we put the 9 inside and then raise to the 3rd power, uh, you may be thinking that I'm lying, huh? Because what's the 4th root of 9? We don't know, huh? And by the way, you see, if we don't have the 3, then yeah, you see the wrong answer here. <laughs> B is not the answer because you still have to take this to a third root, so you can just get rid of B right away, all right? And in fact, you can also get rid of the choice A because they just put the 3 right here instead of the 4, which is very wrong, so get rid of that. Yeah, And of course, C is also very wrong because you will see, it's just not possible. But once you get rid of this and that, at least you have a 50-50 chance to guess the correct answer, which is much better. But anyway, this is the SAT question, so it's decided to be a little bit tricky. We will actually have to do a little bit more work in order to use this. Here's the deal. When we have 9 to the 3 over 4 power, what we are going to do first is, we are going to look at the 9 as 3 square. 3 times 3 is 9, so 3 square is 9. Yeah, And then raise that to the 3 over 4 power. And the reason we want to do this is because now we can multiply the powers. Remember, another note is when we have b to the m, right? When we have b to a power, and then if we raise that to another power, this right here, we just multiply the powers b to the m times n. So this right here, I will say it's like the concept of these two rule of exponents. So right here, we can say this is going to be 3, and then we multiply the 2 and the 3 over 4. And of course, we can reduce the fraction. This right here, it's 2 over 1, and then 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 4 twice. So in fact, this is the same as 3 to the 3 over 2, all right? Huh? Like this. Okay, so what do we do next though? Well, in fact, we can write this down because now everything is simplified it. We can use this one. The two becomes the square root because when we have the radical, like the square root right here, the index is meant to be a two. So this right here turns out to be the square root. And you don't have to write down the two, it's understood to be a two right here. And then you put the three on the inside and then you can put the three on the outside. Yep, like this. But again, um, this does not look like C or D. But don't worry, here's the thing. When you have the three right here, remember, square and the, right, and then the square root will cancel. So I'm going to break down the three into two plus one. And I'm pretty sure that I'm doing this a slightly longer way. So just kind of uh, bear with me. Yeah, like this, and then times square root of three to the first power. Yeah, because two plus one is three. So yeah, but anyway, finally, this thing is just a nice number three because this and that cancel. So you have three and then square root of three to the first power is just that. So as I said, the answer is D. Hmm? 
just like this. So if you are familiar with the roof exponents, this right here, it's not so bad. And of course, you can also do another way, another approach, or maybe skip some computations, and you can go from here to here. But hopefully, this right here is clear. And let me know if you get any other questions. And if you guys want to see more questions like this, check out my playlist over there.